What's up guys, Sam I'm back with another figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Multiverse Superman. This is the Collect and Connect Clayface. Now, I know I've mentioned before that I'm not, you know, I wasn't going to review as much DC Multiverse, but I, I got to get this Clayface. Now I got these figures from BigBadToyStore.com. If you guys want to pre-order these or, you know, I think some of them are in stock. Some of them are still for pre-order. You can click on the link in the description below. It'll help you guys from having to go toy hunting for these. And I think they're retailed at $17.99 on BigBadToyStore.com. Packaging on these is a little bit different. So you can see how it's kind of indented right here. And I think this is gonna be the new design too for the movie series or whatever they're doing for the Batman Forever, the TV series Flash and Linda Carter Wonder Woman. But I do like the packaging on this. That's one thing about DC with Mattel, they're constantly changing their packaging. Got a little bit of a description right here in different languages of for Superman right over there. And then on the bottom it shows you all the figures you need to build Clayface. So Martian Manhunter, you got a Green Lantern, you got Two-Face, Batwoman, Superman, and then you can build that huge monstrous Clayface. And Clayface is one of my favorite villains. So here's a side you know, image of the packaging right there on the box. On the top of the box, you have Collect and Connect DC. There's the bottom right there. And then this side, you know, a closer version of Superman's face. And he does come with, what is it, the left arm? He's number one, so he comes with the right arm for Clayface. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a close look at this Superman. Okay, first off, taking a look at the accessories, you get this piece of poop right here. I'm just kidding, guys. You get this arm for Clayface, which is awesome. You know, one thing I wish they would have done, kind of like what Marvel Legends did with the Sandman wave, is they, wish, they should have given us like a variant figure or something with different little attachments for Clayface's hands, like a like a spike ball, an axe or something. I think that would have been cool, but you can see a little bit of the detailing right here of his poop, or of his arm, so that's really, really nice. Superman comes with two extra hands, and this is for the flying pose, because the one that the figure is posed with right now is the closed fist, but pretty cool that you get these right here. All right, guys, and here we have Superman. It's not a bad looking figure. The head sculpt on this is actually pretty good. Um, the only thing that's kind of weird is I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but he's got some kind of like, uh, it looks like he's wearing a little bit of blush on the cheeks and he kind of looks like he's got a little bit of a sad face. I would like them to see a suit, I would like them to make a Superman figure with a smiley face. I think that'd be pretty cool. He's got his signature, you know, little curl right there in the front. The head sculpt looks pretty nice, but the head doesn't rotate all that well. So you can see you rotate it and it kind of goes back into the normal position. So something's wrong with the joint there. And I don't know if it's me, but does the neck and the head, do they not match? Is it, does it seem kind of off to you guys? I mean, you guys let me know in the comments, but I mean, I do like the head sculpt. I think the head sculpt is pretty nice. The hair looks great. The outfit, obviously it's a new outfit. I do like this too. It's pretty much just all blue. They got rid of the trunks. He's got a little bit of the red belt right over here. You have the S logo, which is just painted on. And then the blue sleeves, and he's got the little bit of like silver and black right there in the lower part of the sleeve. And again, he's got closed fists. You have the cape, which just, you know, starts right over here. And then the open part, you can see the upper part of his chest. And then the back is just a soft rubber cape, no, nothing really special. You have the S logo right there on the back. And I think that's pretty much it. There's the shot of the back of the figure. And then pretty much he's just blue all the way down with a little bit of like red lines where the boots are. Nothing, you know, too crazy about this figure. You're going to get the same articulation as you guys know and love of the DC Multiverse. You have the, uh, obviously the head can rotate and go up and down. But again, something's wrong with this joint. It seems really, really off. I don't know what is up with it. Um, the arms do go in and out. They go forward and back. Got a bend at the elbow. The hand can rotate. He has rotation at the waist. And an ab crunch. The ab crunch is actually pretty good. Look at those muscles right there. He's got some wings. The legs go in and out, forward and back, a bend at the knee, upper leg rotation, and the foot can go up and down. No, it doesn't look like it's it rotates or anything, and he's got peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So pretty good articulation for this Superman. So I switched out the hands, and you can see right here, this is the, the one where you can put him like in the flying pose. So I'm gonna see if he can actually, how far he can look up. Uh, not too bad for all you guys who do like the articulated comic book art stuff. I think this is actually a pretty decent figure. Actually, this actually is really nice. The hands pop in and out very easy, so not an issue with that. You don't have to worry about the pegs or anything breaking. But having these 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 hands right here actually just makes this figure a lot better, to be honest with you. Here's a little bit of a size comparison next to the Multiverse Batman that came with the Batmobile. So you can see they pretty much are in scale with one another. 
And there you have it guys, there is my review. Today we're taking a look at the brand new DC Multiverse. This is from the Clayface Connect and, Con Collect and Connect series. We're taking a look at Superman. I can't wait to build this Clayface. I think it's gonna be awesome. But uh, you guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this Superman and what do you think about the wave overall? Have you guys picked any up? Are you gonna plan on picking any of these figures up? Let me know in the comments below. Again, if you guys wanna pick these up, Click in the link in the description below for BigBadToyStar.com. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video before you guys head out. And we'll see you guys soon. Peace.